Hey, hello. I want to plead that you watch this video till the end. If you don't watch till the end, you will misunderstand what I am talking about in this video. Thank you and God bless you. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the End Time Truth Television channel. We urge you to subscribe to the channel, activate the bell icon by selecting all so that the next time we upload a new video, you will be among the first persons to be notified by Google. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Till then, Shalom. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, God bless you. I want to sincerely apologize for the error in the in this video that I did yesterday. I it wasn't something that I can explain. Uh, you know I, what happened. I cannot really explain it here. Uh, in fact, after listening, when I started listening to the video, I, I looked so stupid. But unfortunately, there was nothing I could do about it. So I'm very, very sorry. So I have decided to do an update. Now, starting from the point where that loud music started playing from. I'm so sorry. And I'm going to add some things, you know, to elaborate more on what I was trying to say that yesterday in the video. Um, to some of you, it is no longer news what I want to pass across, but it is also worth the while that I do what I I'm about to do or that I did what I tried to do yesterday. Okay, so I'm going to start from this uh uh Osina, she's um you know this woman the video that this woman actually came trying to say certain things you know in relation to what Rose Kelvin did. Uh, by the way, I'm going to do a video on Rose Kelvin. You wouldn't you won't believe what well, it's like some of you know about it, but you may not have known it. So, I'll bring it here. I'll bring it here. We're going to look at it together. All right, after this video, but I'm going to include some of it. So, now this woman, after, you know, the imbroglio, the confusion, and all whatnot that, you know, has thrilled as the issue of helping the children of Osina Shinwashuku, this woman came out and she has this to say about um, the lady in question, um, Rose Kelvin. Whoever that knows that woman that called herself prophetess or whatever she called herself, she please tell her to stay away from Osnachi's family. Osnachi's family is too big for her to use and chase clowns. If she needs members, let her go and do normal things that they used to do to get members. She should not use that family to chase clowns or to, or to look for members. I just watched one dirty video that she was busy. She, that woman and her husband, the NID, had been busy now, nah, rubbish in the name of trying to help us and her family. You're a shameless woman if you don't know. You called yourself a woman of God, but you talk like a child. Can you listen to yourself? Look at you. You bought tickets of 1,000 naira. Even on that altar, the place you call the holy place or the holy land, you guys are lying. In a digging on any water, not a you bought tickets for one million naira for Snatch and her children for business. They don't look at any amount of tickets. How much is tickets? Let me ask you. Tickets are that for was it two hundred and fifty thousand naira for one person? Tickets are was it fifty thousand, fifty five thousand naira because of the situation of the country now? Casing what tickets it will raise two hundred and fifty thousand naira. We don't have to in the name of God, madam. Please, if you don't want to help that family, stay away from that family. They are too big for you to use and chase clowns. Let me tell you the truth. They are too big. Osnachi's younger sister, uh, twin sister, the smart. She's an intelligent lady. I mean, her name. That was why she didn't allow herself to be used for caricature for you and your husband and your church. If you want to help them, you can do that. Equal, you can transfer the money for them. You are the first person that came out. You were the first person came out, that came out and said you have given the family the scholarship. You did not do anything. You didn't even ask after them again. Immediately, one knows that chapters in online, but it's people that all these people abandoned them. Yeah, but as a nature, they're caught up and up and down. They may hear, they disgrace when working in public. You can't even make it. Please, you should help me and tell that woman to stay away from Osnachi's family. You don't have, if you don't have anything to offer to them, stay away from them. What kind of nonsense is that? Even the headline on the internet, that prophet has disgraced Osnachi's twin sister. Nonsense from old people. I've told the people that all they do in this church is business. She wants to use Osnachi's younger sister to do more business. But the woman is too smart, all the too smart. She cannot allow herself to be used for anybody. 
anybody to use her and make any kind of business. Are they impossible? You can't use her like that. You might be able to sell one fish sochi. You don't like about it flight. Flight, you go. No man don't like about flight. It's one million naira about flight. Madam, if you lie, make it lie small. It's not even to ask to over ask. Please, who no gaga about that woman? She should stay away from that family. Her and her prayer. Only make go onyara. Only make ankata her. Because only only make us your prophetess. Only make onyara. Only make onye. Onye mo ne make her problem. Now I cook a towel. If you want to speak like that, don't use that family. Don't use that family to to speak like that. Tini ne ku. Diga no neighbor ne zuzu are. All right, so you may be wondering why he, uh, the woman spoke the way she spoke. Actually, I, I, you know, I would like to make some correction here. Maybe out of her being disappointed, actually, and I, I, I saw that, I saw that heading, I saw that headline, I saw that topic that they disgraced or exposed she uh, Amara Sheze, which is not Nachi's sister, and that was actually not very, very good because. I want to believe that Amarachi didn't actually approach them for help. She saw, according to what you will hear now, she saw and decided out of her own benevolence, out of her own good heart, wanted to help. So if something happened, actually, it doesn't warrant this kind of noise. But then there is something that they said, which was what this woman heard, that made her to react the way she reacted. And here... Let's, let's sister Osina Chi's family. I think they're supposed to be here today to, uh, to receive the scholarship award in cash. Hey! Jesus. Because I have been waiting for this day. You don't tell why, why they call. Call, Abi? B.A. Eh? You've been in touch Very true, ma. with the family, with yes. the twin sister. Yes, mommy. Eh? Yes, mommy. Because I am ready. The cash is here. Yes. Everything is ready. I want, I want to deliver the cash to them. Is I want to do is cash from not from the level they are in primary to the attached all of them. Jesus. Yeah. Yes. That is what I want to do. I'm led to do it. Mommy, it was as a result of your passion uh, and the pressure you put on me and Pastor James to reach out to that family. Uh, that, that, that's the reason I didn't give you any updates on how far I have gone with them in the past 24 hours. Between 24... But you bought tickets? Yes, we bought tickets over half a million to purchase a ticket for the four children because we received, I received the names of the children from uh, Osinachi's young, late sister Osinachi's younger brother and their aunt who visited the unveiling city some days ago. I got the numbers of uh, the, the names of the children upon agreement. Yes. That, that, those, 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 that's the ticket and the name of the children. Mrs. Amarachi is the twin sister to late sister Osinachi. And then after discussing with Godwin, uh, Godwin Madu, who Godwin is the younger, is the brother. younger brother now. Yes, the younger brother to Lisa And Osinachi. the aunt. They and came the aunt. on Tuesday. Yes, they came. The aunt came We from discussed Lisa. in the office. Yes, we had a discussion. That they were going to be here today. Yes. Second week, we kept calling. 
they were posting us even up till the third week of the election. He kept calling because I was putting pressure on him. So he was as well uh, calling the number that seems to go to the ghost that she said that that is my sister. So she kept posting him, posting him, okay, we've left that we are we are not in the room, we are trying to go for a place, they go school for them. They kept we are like, okay, how long will you look for this school? You understand? How for how long? Who pays already in school? This is three weeks of our assumption. You have not found a school. Does it mean there is no there are no other schools there where you can enroll these kids? We are I've listened to this video before, but listening to this again, um, it got done on me that actually that thing that was done in the church was staged. It was because she was standing asking questions as if she never knew about this, the whole processes that a so called PA and the husband went through. The husband started by saying that. He never bothered getting back to her. But, you know, from the discussion here, this was on a different day before that Sunday service. All right. So this family came here and visited her in the office. Of course, you heard it immediately. They said they came. Now they started playing this video. So it is something that she knew that they have not come or that they didn't come. The whole effort that his PA and the husband put together actually she knew or oh, now i want to put this here you know because I, I see this as before when i watched this video I, I i did a video on this but i eventually thought not uploading it now, but listening to this again is like that thing that took place in the church was not actually necessary but you will get to understand what i am saying as you get to you know continue watching this video please let's just go ahead and move on so I can believe this other part of me. I told my PJ to keep uh, eyes on ground, on the ball, until he finds and discovers something that is funny because I don't know what's going on. Let's see how much I'm giving you and all of that songs. So that is it. We don't have to go about it. She will give you what you want. What you want. How do you deliver this one? And I'm happy you are here. The brother of course is the chair of the aunt, the mother's sister. And I'm happy you are here, ma'am. So I why you that I know how we're going to talk about this. I am ready to do this. I want to do this. I am pressed. It's a burden on me. I want to do this. I want to, you know, the promise I made to those in the my sister, I want to uh, take it down, down it. So I can be free. It's a burden on me. I want to do it now, as in any time. Yeah. And I want to make sure you enter the right channel. Because a lot of account numbers have been flying here and here from different quarters. This is also that this is that account number, this is also that she's different account number. So we don't even know which to do. Yes, Mama. Okay, you are aware of every communication. Thank God. Thank God. Why, why, was, where, why was she delaying this? Upon that agreement, we purchased the ticket, made the hotel booking, and then uh, after sending the uh, tickets to them, they said uh, uh, the, uh, Amarachi will reach out to me. Mm -hmm. So in the, Amarachi is the twin sister. Yes, the twin sister. To so let she called me, Yeah, yeah, to let sister out Nachi. When she called me, I didn't know it was her. She now sent a text. Upon calling her, I had a 15 minutes conversation with her. 15 minutes yes, conversation yes. with her. And in this conversation, she was telling me she was not feeling fine. I now asked her, I said, but this was the agreement we had concerning Friday. She equally said that those Sinatra's two children were not feeling fine. Now, the agreement I had with her was that I was going to give them space to have their treatments and then come towards the end of the month. But from all indication, that woman is declining to come here. I made her understood that there was certainly no way you could send such voluminous amount of money to an account that is not traceable to anybody. She sent an account number. Yes, she sent an account number. For me to yes. deposit the money. How? Yes. Uh, and then again, she came up... Wait, oh, is it not better? Should we do that? No, 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 no. No, no, no. I, I told her that was absolutely impossible. So, uh, uh, when she came up with the idea of uh, 
that uh, somebody should be sent to their home in Enugu. I told her about Okay, that we should come to Enugu and, and uh, give the money. Yes, yes. I, I, and it sounded funny, funny to me. I told her that there is a security situation in the southeast. Is she declining the offer? Apparently, that is what it looks like. Apparently, that's After booking it, flight for them, after, fact, after spending close to 600000 because... You sent, uh, was it, I told you to book flights. Yes. That was what, like 400,000. Yes. And then a uh, hotel reservation. A, a hotel reservation. In fact, I had a consideration in booking the hotel reservation because the case they had, they are supposed to have in court, is supposed to be around the 17th of this month. So I now extended the ticket and the accommodation for when they will come for the case and then go back after that visit. This woman was telling me no, that she can't come for this month. She can't come fact, after buying tickets. It's, it's, it's as was, after spending close to six hundred thousand. It's surprising and depressing. That's why I didn't tell you anything about it. So now my good now one. Yeah. You see why it's very difficult to help people. But I was actually Hallelujah. expecting them to be here today. Hallelujah. Because the, the brother came with the aunt, the mother sister. They came. Now um. This is where it gets a bit weird and uh you know listening at uh you know to what they are saying in one hand it would sound like amara Chese was being um ungrateful it would sound as if she was being um disrespectful to somebody that is offering this kind of you know big uh, amount of money or this kind of help to her sister's children and you know, more so when that video came out, when she was seen uh, soliciting for fund, soliciting for help, and asking people to uh, come to their aid. I actually considered that that was too early. But then, when I then saw again uh, a woman with other women, they called themselves ministers, trying to raise money for the children of Osina Shinwashiko. And when I saw this, I was like, okay. This probably may be the, the persons that made the woman to uh, do the video she did. And probably they just wanted to use that as a, a point to stand and do whatever they wanted to do because they are not, practically they are not members of the family. And uh, whatever will be done in that manner should have the blessings of the family. But surprisingly, I saw you know, um, Osinashi Wachuku's sister, Amara Chese, you know, coming forth with this, this note here that she posted on the uh, internet, on her uh, Instagram page, and which reads, It has come to our notice as a family that certain videos and write-ups against our image as well as innocent people that have been there for us all this while are now in circulation. For further clarification, we are still mourning the passing of our dear sister, mother and daughter, and the surrounding fact still does not make it easy for us. We strongly believe that she is with the, most, the host of angels and until her body is laid to the mother earth, Therefore, we plead with the general public to please respect our privacy. We appreciate the public for their concern and love. And every one of our children is being taken care of and we have not collected any 32 million from anybody. Neither are we stranded or begging the public in any form. As regards to a certain GoFundMe account making round, please everybody should be careful so that you don't get scammed. God in his infinite mercies has been ever faithful and we appreciate him. The burial arrangement is in progress and we shall inform the general public once we have made full preparation. Please remember us in your prayers as we have seen how far the devil can go. But in the name of Jesus, we are victorious. And the Bible says that the steps of the righteous shines brighter and brighter unto a perfect day. That is our assurance. Further information will reach out to the public through our official page, Osinashin Washuku Official and Amara Chese. Thank you, everyone, and remain blessed. Now, looking at this, when I read this, this happened to be a sharp, you know, contradiction to the appearance of the sister on, you know, in that video. 
you see in that video so uh then i, I looked at it that maybe after that letter after that video went round maybe some persons came to say no that you shouldn't have done that and arising from this that's two million naira issue i wouldn't know if it is in connection to that of rose kelvin whether that was the amount she wanted to give to them because um, you know i saw a caption where it was uh, attributed to rose kelvin that Nashin Washiku was worth at least three hundred thousand dollars you know so i don't know if that was it if that was what they, they were uh you know referring to the, if that reference was on that now coming back to the video that i want to let you continue to watch now there is a point that the husband of rose kelvin made even though that uh, that mommy is very 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 huge that kind of mommy the woman has been mummified so much that even her husband is also uh, but that is not part of this video let's leave that one outside all right so what i'm i'm trying to say here is that the video that you were watching and you are going to continue watching now has a lot to do with i don't know why it looks like a damage control if you have offered somebody some kind of help and the person declined the offer and the person has not come out in the open to say you promised and you failed now there was no need staging that kind of drama that took place there it is too true it they tried it was a very nice gesture but i would want to delve into possible reasons why amarashi may have declined to accept that offer on tuesday yes, and i was even happy they came i wanted to present the money to them they said no that the twin sister that the twin sister and the children were going to be here today that was why daddy went ahead to book their tickets Hallelujah. I was surprised at her response that she couldn't come. Yes, I now told her, I, I told her I could amend the ticket to bring them to Abuja, that the ticket could bring them in to, uh, to yesterday, Thursday, and then they will go back that same Thursday. Or they can come in Friday morning, I can amend the ticket to bring them in Friday morning and just in one hour. Mm -hmm. Because you will need to meet the children you are actually interested in sponsoring from primary to tertiary. I see that that it's it's a it's a good reason enough for them to come. This is quite reasonable enough, and you know I must be fair on every side. You know, just like uh, when people come to watch my video, they want me to just be one-sided. I can't be one-sided, my friend. And I've always asked people: it is instead of trying to become an instrument in the hands of the devil to, you know, see if you can weaken us. And many of you have tried it you it has not worked and it won't work now the statement he made was right it is true you know there was supposed to be this kind of meeting getting to know the children and on in a sane society that is normal but then does amarashi eze have the right to decline does she have the right to um you know refuse and reject this gesture even though that it is good I think yes, she has the right to do so. At least you embrace the student. You didn't know the student. I don't even know the woman. I never met her before. You got met us in Achi. You didn't know the family. Nobody met you to ask you for anything. It was from your good heart you decided to reach out. So I felt that there was a need, even if it had to take going the extra mile, to bring the children so that you can meet with them. And then this, uh, the twin sister who had always been the one speaking uh, over the case. Over the case. Generally, I think the whole world knows the uh, sister, the, the twin sister to us in China. So, at least she's a simple representing the family. So, I thought that it was indeed okay for her to come. So, when she said she was not feeling fine, I, I was wondering, I said, whatever this thing is. In okay. fact, it got to a point when I started asking her, Osinachi didn't talk and she died. What is this thing that will make you not come for this? So that we can nip it in the board on time. As a matter of immediately school resumed upon resumption. That very day when my children go to school, I say, my children don't start school, lost my children. I called James immediately. I was like, James, have you been able to make contacts? He said, yes, that you've been talking with them. They said, we should wait. Oh, 
Now the school resumes. Now school don't resume now. They should be fast though, because me, I have projects at hand. Let me do away with this and then have peace. You kept calling, calling. What happened? Tell, tell me how. Praise the Lord. Mommy, from the, the first day you made this post on social media, we made everything possible. We reached out to the family and called the lady. And I said, this is what my mother is asking me to do. She said, who is mommy? I told her, I said, well, you can go on Facebook verify. Everybody knows mommy Rose. Yes. She said, okay, she will get back to me. Three days later, I called her and said, mommy wants to give scholarship to these children from primary to tertiary. All that she needs is a way to reach to the family and give you the money. Yes. Mommy will not give you scholarship money. I'm coming every semester or every time to collect money. She usually gives the money oh, up from I want to do all. at once. Yes. Now, she said, okay, I should hold on that uh, they have some security issues they're trying to resolve. I said, okay, a week later again, you called me that money, mommy. I'll be sure the way you spoke to me, I was afraid. You said to me, you said, James, take this thing down immediately. Out of anger, I called the sister. I said, madam, mommy has been calling me. The sister told me that they are in the east. They are trying to get a school. I said, madam, how many days will it take you to get a school? Mommy wants to do this now. Please get to school and let us know. She didn't. Now, it, I remember on a Monday morning, you called me and said, school has resumed, James. These children, how about them? I said, mommy, they have not gotten to me. The sister sent an account number to us that we should post the money to the account. Chineke, just like that. Just like that. And now the phone Millions of Naira. To, to whose account? Now? Just put up account, just like that. Mommy, be That's why they do something. Okay, that what I will, I will deposit the money in the account. No, mommy, before that time, my mother. Before Should that I time. deposit the money in that account? So that story, then go tell me the story tomorrow. My mother, before that time, we have received several account numbers claiming to be family members of the late Osnachi. I see that there is an attempt to circumvent your good gesture from the world not to know about it. Very true. I, I, think, I didn't hear you, sir. I didn't hear you, daddy. I think there is an attempt yes. to circumvent this good gesture you want to do. For the world not to hear about for it. For the world not to know okay, about she it. she wants me to do it secretly. Yes, so that, okay. so that other people, they can go for uh, help. So that? So that other people could be asked for help. Okay. Yes, so that this your own will not be known that you have done it. Cha. And if, if, if you didn't raise this matter today, don't be surprised, ma, that there could be... Now, um, for me, this is character assassination, and this is where the whole thing got me off. You see, in the first place, these people did not write you to give them support. Yeah, they needed support, and it was okay, it was good, you did well. Now, if you have been following, and you also watched the video, because everything about these people will actually be filmed and which is okay it's very very good and it's very very okay you know so but i think she has just contradicted herself here because in a few minutes ago she said she was willing to give the uh the aunt of usinashi and her younger brother that came to her office she wanted to give them the money that day but the woman uh said no now, which means that she was actually willing to do it in the secret, not in the open, according to what she just said. And in one fell swoop, just within the same the same frame of time, uh, before with the same time frame, she is asking. So she wanted me to do it in the secret. So which means that actually the the problem is not um, as it 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 were with the receiving but it is on how to do it getting to this point where the whole world is being told and the the, the character of amarashi is is being painted as being a dubious person that she wants to say you know um using his word now circumvent she wants to make it look like nobody has helped then so that when they get this one secretly they can also continue to beg people for money now that is to me an insult and and that was what i believe got that woman irritated that was what i believe got that woman offended and actually if you are in amarachi's shoes and i think i want to you know uh say amarachi has acted very maturely she never responded to this this is quite character slaying they slayed they killed they slain you know the character of that woman in that statement 
made by the husband. Now, if you give people some kind of offer and they declined it, there was no need coming to the public. Okay, you made it open. All right, you made it open and they didn't come. Well, you, you, you know, it is, it is left for you to come out and say, well, I told this sister to come. I don't really know why they are not coming. Now, uh, as I, I said in the beginning that Amarashi reserved the right not to accept the offer. Now, it's like me. You are giving me something and I tactically rejected it. One, there could be reasons why Amarashi rejected it. First could be that, um, you know, everybody is trying to be very careful and in our part of the world superstition is very very rife it is also there you know in the in the western world only that their own kind of superstition might be different now there is the need for people to be careful accepting help from persons they don't know and the persons they don't trust you know the issue might be that from the from the guy there i'm actually asked who is mommy and probably after asking, she went to Google as she was told and found out certain things. And she may not believe in that kind of ministry. She may not believe in the ministry of the prophetic where they see the color of pants and all this. You know, she may not have believed in it. And there is the need for her to follow her conscience. And she probably did not want to abuse the, the, you know, the mind of the people who came forth to her. And so she tactically withdrew. Now I'm saying this, now that she wouldn't want it to be like, in the process of trying to help these children, their destiny. I'm not saying that Rose, Rose's help is going to, you know, tarnish or destroy the, the children's future. But this is what some of us believe and you don't blame anybody. You know, sometimes I hear things like, that stupid stuff doesn't exist. But my friend, it exists. I'm in Africa, I live in Africa, I live in Nigeria, there is wickedness here. We are talking about Jeremiah Omoto Fufei now. And their own kind of giving is Jeremiah's you know, kind of giving. So it's either that Amarashi has looked in and is not so sure about who is coming to help the children of her sister. And she's afraid of the help. She doesn't want to get help from everybody. And they, actually it is not from everybody you get help. And have we also ruled out the fact that she's also a child of God and she may have prayed and there could be a communication between her spirit and the spirit of God that said, no, don't worry, there is help coming from somewhere. Or the conscience may just say, no, I don't just want to get this help. She she's up that right and nobody should force her to accepting it. That is one. Secondly, is that there is a trend that is happening amongst these people and that trend is very 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 bad i've spoken about this trend before and some persons gave me reasons why they must do this kind of help and amarashi may not want that kind of publicity for herself for her family and for the children of her late sister because internet never forgets this kind of help that starts with this kind of derogatory statements was back again to make his people happy. These are the ones who refuse to go after the service, waiting for mommy to come back. And hopefully mommy is back to see them. They are happy because this happens almost every day after service. Mommy don't leave his members waiting just like that. He must make sure he came back to attend to them again to make them happy. But the ones who don't have transport to go back home, mommy will make sure that is settled. And for those ones who are still here to see mommy who are on the promised line, mommy will always, always come back to meet their needs. This is what mommy does almost every Sunday. This is one of her 
elderly woman we call her Mama G. <laughs> not uh, coming as usual uh, because I deliberately wanted you to judge uh, the God of Prophetess Rose. The title of this video says the God of Prophetess Rose. I wanted you to meet this God, see how this God is using this great woman of God. Now the truth is that you know what I saw, the title I saw about this video has to do everything to do with poverty. Uh, I can't really remember it and I can't coin it. Now that is a way. You see, the children that came with their mother to do this, tomorrow they will become adults. Now, they will tell the story because, you know, the, the, the reason why this kind of thing thrives is because of poverty. You know, to some of them, she was given 1500 and 1500 is less than $3. Yeah, it's less than $3. So, and that, that was the reason why many of them waited for hours. Am I criticizing her? No, I'm not. I'm just blaming the, you know, the economy. I'm blaming the government. I'm blaming the kind of country we have. I also understand that no matter how good the economy would, would have been, they will still be poor. But this is not the kind of help that Jesus recommended. Our Lord told us, and this is alms giving, not even offering. This is alms giving. And this is the alms giving that the Lord said to us when we are doing, we shouldn't let our right hand know what our left hand is offering. Right? Now, but we have seen here those. Uh, unfortunately, I skipped. There was this, the, the you know, the, the, the woman that knelt down and was actually trying to tell her something. What I believe she wanted to tell her was that the 1,500 was not what she needed. She probably needed something much more than that. But this was for the, the public. And so I dare say that maybe Amara Shieze doesn't want this kind of publicity for herself, for her children, uh, the children of her sister, and for her family. So whatever it was that made her to decline the offer, she had every right to do so. Now for the, the husband and everybody to you know think that she was declining it or she wanted it to be done in the secret so that they will continue to beg the public. That was very, very, you know, disgracing and disgraceful and very, very annoying. I said it was character assassinating. Now, the, the, the fact was that if she really wanted to do it, now, what stopped them, you know, when the, the family has come, the family, the brother and the sister of Usina, she came and they recognized them. They affirmed that they are, you know, those were the families. Now, this money, if if it was to be done, actually, that was an opportunity to, okay, you want to have a, a you know a photo shoot with them, like there was a, a, a camera filming everything. Call Amarashi that you know, that Amarashi that you wanted her to be the one to confirm the fact that this thing is getting to the right hand. You don't know any other person, but you have been speaking with Amarashi, all right. Call Amarashi. I have two visitors here. And they said they are your brother and your sister. Can we go ahead and transfer the money into the account that you have made ready? Now, if there is the fear that they are going to deny this offering, 
if it was transferred there will be bank statement and uh, of course there will always be video camera that will capture these things now but that was not done and you know the stress and whatever that happened happened and it came to that point where they had to come out and make this video now that was bad enough that was bad enough and uh, i guess that it was it was before even amarashi made the video that she made it was before she did the video she did which that note i read to you actually corrected maybe somebody like i felt felt the same way and had to stop that it might have come from the church because when immediately i heard that i said no that is not fair i asked the person how can she but the, the husband the, the i mean the, the sister has not been buried and what will the church look like what will it what image will it do to the church please i'm not an image launderer for the uh, for the church i'm not their church member so that you don't think but naturally this is what i am i you know i asked myself i also asked what about the 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 minister for for women affairs the the one the um uh her excellency somebody talent now what how can because I, I believe that that woman must have also helped in some way and may want to continue helping now when coming out in this way made it look like everybody has abandoned them and that i guess there was a kind of a kind of reason that that prevailed and that idea of go for me has to be killed so after the burial of sister Osinashi Mwashuku now um in thanking the public something took place i'm just trying to do this again because of um now but before i i, I come to this place now talking about why rose kelvin must want to have a film you know to do this have you actually asked how they got their money i have a dossier on that because in the process of making this video i actually called i called that i wanted to speak to rose kelvin and you wouldn't believe what i was told i will be doing that on a separate video i wanted to incorporate it here but it will be too long so i'm going to do that but some person said that they do this because of partners that they want to be accountable to the partners those that are donating money so these partners you will see how the partners you know are gotten this is another video on its own so but my question has been if it is for the partners that kind of secret a video that they made when the Osinashi's sister and brother visited in her office that could be made just for the, the the purpose of being accountable to the partners when they come this is the money you gave to us this was how we made use of it we gave this to this we gave that to that and actually you know that video might be necessary just for video evidence and i'm sure that everything should have a record and that we settle it you know if we are actually abiding by the principles of the bible now, but that was not done and thank god that after the burial of sister Usina uh there was a note of appreciation that was signed by amarachi eze for the family and that note reads on behalf of the family of late pastor moses madu of amakoke omoako isushi umuno shiloko commentary of abia state we wish to this use this opportunity to express our immense gratitude to god almighty for the success of our daughter and sister's burial mrs osinashi washuku ni madu which took place on the 25th of june 2022 we also express our gratitude to our parents in the lord dr pastor paul and dr mrs becky and Eche, for their great support spiritually and financially during the burial and also for the scholarship they offered to take care of Osinashi's children academically from primary to university level, including their accommodation and welfare, and to also assist our mother financially. May God bless you both for us in Jesus' name. Thanks to all the Dunamis pastors that were present in the burial and wake keep in the village, and all other Dunamis members, choristers, who contributed in one way or the other, May God honor you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Signed, Amarachi Eze for the family. So this was what I saw and I said, oh God, this is good news. You know, like I have often said, recently I've been saying that there is hatred 
so much hatred for pastors and for church because of what is going on what is happening you know because of the invasion of the church space by rebranded witch doctors but that does not mean that we should categorize everybody and we don't even appreciate when a person does good this is a very nice gesture my friends it's not easy to take care of uh, you know another you know person's children not one not two not three not four and in as much as somebody will say what are they doing with body that will be a stupid question to ask that you, that would be a question that would sound so stupid this is a wonderful gesture do you know what it means to train these children from primary school to university level and to also provide in fact they are literally basically they are taking over the the welfare of the children accommodation and whatever clothing and feeding and also to bring their mother their, their grandmother into the picture that was wonderful and for those persons that have asked and condemned why uh, the general overseer was not present in her burial well i think that the pastors that got involved that was enough representation from the pastor that was enough representation from the church it's not a must that the gs and his wife must be present in the church permit me to also tell you that sometimes we are partial in you know when we talk now osina she had the privilege of the gifts of god in her life and that singled her out now that doesn't make her more important than the least member of the church. So if the GO begins to attend every burial of every member of his church that dies, that will be a lot, man. So except we're saying that some people are more equal than the others because that is the world system. If the world system suggests so, and we are now agreeing with it that because of Osinashi's prominence in the church, you know, she should be given a preferential treatment, preferential treatment, which is not seen but then every other person should be entitled to that kind of a treatment but if we are if we agree that we are all brethren and in the sight of the lord god we are equal i think what is good for the goose is also good for the gander and so this is where i'll be stopping this uh video here now and i would like you to uh wait for me in what i got how to become uh you know how to enter into partnership with rose kelvin you may be surprised that such milking, such, I don't know how to call it, but it is very, very disgraceful. I'll be seeing you in the next video and don't forget to like the video. Put down your comments in the comment section and please share if the video blesses you. Remember that we are strangers in this world. As strangers we came, as strangers we will be living. We're on a pilgrimage, Osinashi came on a journey and she ended hers the way that she ended and now she is back to where she came from only god knows when each and every one of us will return you know if you want to join our prayer our prayer group uh contact me on whatsapp and i will add you to the group this is a zoom prayer meeting every monday wednesday and friday 11 p.m nigerian time thank you so much till i come your way i remain your brother in the lord from me to you Shalom.